Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! I goofed up. I uh, This girl wanted a video request, and I did a email request so already she's gonna get both she'll get the email and then um i'll put together this video and she'll do that so uh hi aaron i'm a college bound high school senior for clarity of my question it is necessary for you to know that i'm a girl i am planning on majoring in chemical engineering there you go there you go that's how you do it that's how you close that wage gap at a girl because all engineering fields are male dominated i'm concerned about assimilating socially it is obvious aside from career interests i will have Little in common with men in my prospective classes. I'm not a bitch feminist, and I really do not care about uh, evening up the ratio, the push for females in STEM, or any of that nonsense. I'm solely worried about being an outcast among my peers. <clears throat> what steps do you think I could take to better click with my male classmates? Sometime the classroom dynamic can be compared to a guy at a tampon party. I can be difficult. It can be difficult to relate. Secondary to that, I also noticed women in predominantly male f f fields become unnervingly masculine. <laughs> uh, just don't become a firefighter. That's not... uh, how would you recommend I maintain a sense of femininity without simultaneously appearing like a wench? These questions may seem minute. However, engineering is a field that is excruciatingly cl clickiest due to the demanding course load. Appreciate you, Candor's words. And I'll keep her anonymous. So... Um, <clears throat> her video is also very important, not just for her situation, but I think this would be a concern of any young ladies who are considering going into STEM. So let's let's uh, take it down. I'm going to kind of do it. The number one thing, ladies, is this. You are going into STEM because you want to improve yourself, okay? So don't worry about the social ramifications. I, I'm going to say later on to worry about it. But understand your primary goal. If you want to become an engineer, then fuck whether or not it's a male-dominated society. If a guy wants to become an elementary school teacher, screw it if it's a female-dominated society, all right? You, these are your dreams, okay? If you want to do it, go do it. That's what we fought the British for. That's what we fought the Civil War for. That's what we have the Magna Carta. That's what all these millions of people in the past have died for. For you have the right to go and live your dream. So you owe it at least to yourself. <clears throat> now... As with any decisions, there's going to be drawbacks and things to worry about. Uh, mo most prominently in this young lady's mind is uh, interacting socially with the men. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to interacting with the guys, you, you have to understand they're guys. They're not women. And no matter how much they've been forced by K through college education, the leftist, socialist, feminist brainwashing at the schools, they're genetically guys. And they're going to be guys. So when you walk in, if you want to assimilate, if you want to ingratiate yourself, don't go kissing their Be yourself. That's the number one thing because if you're not yourself, you've got to be somebody else with people that you make friends with. Be your normal self. Don't be a prick. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> um, but for the love of God, do not espouse or spew one thing those leftist feminists on campus have told you. Not one thing your politicians are telling you about. Not what... You're not an independent-minded woman. Don't fit it in every five minutes. Well, you know, I'm a woman in STEM. Look at me, I'm a woman. Yeah, shut the fuck up and take your goddamn calculus three. All right? Look, do your regression analysis. Don't don't tell us about, yes, it's obvious you're a woman in STEM. So I think that's the thing. It, it, not the, it's, you wouldn't ask me this question if you, if, if you had a chip on your shoulder, so you don't, and that's why I'm not terribly worried. But <clears throat> for any of you girls that think, oh, I'm a girl in STEM, it, 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 it's not my thing. Get rid of that fucking chip off your shoulder and start performing like the rest of them. All right, so that's going to do a lot of things like you're not going to seem like a bitch. You're going to be a normal person. And um, you're also, you, you want to show the guys that you're not going to accuse them of sexual harassment. Now, obviously, if they sexually harass you and, you know, other unpleasant things. And by unpleasant, I'm not talking to guys at a party who tries to kiss you. That's not sexual assault, okay? That's not rape, all right? But they're going to be so brainwashed. This is a huge political movement by the feminists and the lefts in academia to scare the shit out of all those guys at the campus. And unlike the women, they have something to worry about. And even if it's not legal, this is why it's all on campus. See, the cops are never called. This has nothing to do with legal. This has them getting kicked out of school. So they're, they're worried. That's what they got at risk here. So what you got to do is say, look, I'm not the feminist, leftist, socialist, cunt type 
that's going to come up with, with concocted uh, bogus rape claims or bogus sexual assault or harassment complaints. If they make a sexual joke, you know what? If it's funny, fucking laugh at it. And you know what? You throw a sexual joke right back at them. Small dick joke. Something. That's how guys do it. We don't, oh, Tina, how We don't do that. I don't think I've given any male friend of mine a compliment in the past, God Lord knows how many years. But by God, if we slung arrows at each other... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was at my buddy's place and I was doing lunch. Just give you an example, okay? This is typical guy stuff. I'm at my buddy's. And I, I only have one backpack. And um, so all my clothes are getting cut dirty. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta wash clothes, but it's pretty close. I say, can you loan me some jeans? He says, yeah. So he's a taller, bigger guy. So I had like belt on. I was like three notches too big and had to roll up the pants. He's like, how they fit? I say, they're pretty loose except around the crotch. But then again... <laughs> That that's guy. That's what guys do. There's no insult. It's not you go run down to the principal like a little tattletale narc. Just just then you zig it back. You know he said something. I can't remember. He just you know like you gotta have a penis first or something like that. Not that 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 will be the majority of your conversation, but that's what guys do. It's locker room talk, and it's not meant as as an insult. You'll know if a guy is insulting you. So, and they're going to pick on you because you're a girl, but you know, just throw it, it's like dealing with older brothers. So you want to, you want to realize, you want them to know that it's okay for them to be men. Not rude, not mean, not insult, like literally insulting, but it's okay for them to be guys. And then you'll be invited out, you know, play beer pong when you're 21, do a shot of whiskey, don't, don't challenge them to shots of whiskey. Just like, if you do a shot of whiskey, guys are like, oh shit, she did a shot of whiskey. So even though it tastes like shit, learn it. Um, something, you know, like maybe smoke a cigar. I don't know. It, it, that's not you, though. It, it's only what you want to do. But um, show, I don't want you to become a tomboy unless you want to, but you're one of the guys and you can hang out with them. That's what, and so they'll be happy to work with you. Um, none of this fucking, I'm a woman and watch me. Just do your fucking homework. Like there's this gal, she was a Native American Indian, um, American Indian gal. There was no attitude. There was no lip. And she was the best one in our class. She was. She was the best. Not because she was female. She didn't need fucking affirmative action. She just was the best. So you want to be that. You want to be the best. You get the you get the respect of your peers and, and stuff like that. Uh, another thing with socially, you're going to have so many guys hitting on you because there are so few women. They're going to be so happy to see a set of tits in that classroom. And I know that sounds crass, but that's why I'm saying yeah, they they shouldn't say nice set of tits, but they're going to think, well, I've got a nice set of tits in here. It's going to be nice. They'll be happy. It's not just a complete uh, sausage fest. So um, so that you'll have plenty of guys, and that'll probably be, even be a drawback. A lot of these IT girls, you know, it's like, oh, God, every guy asks me out, and they're nerdy, and da, 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 da. But you will not be wanting for dates. I saw a picture. You're cute enough. You'll be all right. Um, then the second thing, Worrying about becoming overly masculine as you're in the field. Again, I don't think you girls have to worry about it if that's a concern of yours because most women who are like on the rah-rah feminism side and they're already starting to get a mustache and their cats are on order at Amazon, uh, they don't care. They want to compete. They want to show up, man. It's not about a passion for chemical engineering or chemistry or anything like that. It's, it's, a, it's almost a psychological problem, I'd say, an obsession. So <clears throat> the fact you're worrying about, I don't think you will. And, and it's very simple. Go do female stuff. You don't, just because you're majoring or in a field with men does not mean your entire social life has to be men. Go, you'll make female friends. Um, go have girls night out. Absolutely. You know what? If you want to wear a dress to the, th to the classroom, go wear a dress to put on some heels. Doll yourself up. Damn right. B b be the bright spot in their day. Hell, their week. Uh, for those IT, there was a guy, woo, man. <laughs> I was teaching dance class. Now, of course, this is a much more, obviously, the roles are very feminine and very masculine. But, woo, this this gal, she was like 42, and she looked 26, and she wore a dress. And I was, whoa, she was like this hot, hot Filipina. She was a Filipina. Wow, she dreaded it, man. Every guy was happy. I remember I looked forward to going to teach that class, and it made my day. We didn't hit on her. We didn't, but it was just, it was a nice thing to see. It was like seeing a beautiful work of art in the building. It was just like, oh, and so be feminine. Wear the occasional dress. Put on some heels. Uh, if you want to get your hair done, do whatever you want to do. Um, 
I don't think it's going to. But again, associate with females. Absolutely. Watch your watch your girls shows. Watch the Roundhouse Kicking Chick Cop show. Watch Castle. Watch Hot in Cleveland. Watch. Um, I'm trying to think what are chick shows. You know, if if you want to go see a Ryan Reynolds flick, go watch a Ryan Reynolds flick. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think you have to worry about it. now down the road. Yeah, when you work, you're gonna be surrounded by guys. It's probably gonna rub off on you a little bit. But you know, if you're married, you got a boyfriend, put on some sexy lingerie and be a girl. Absolutely. You want to have kids? Go have kids. You know, um, if you want to get married, there's nothing wrong with getting married. So yeah, be female if you like. Go go find a guy. Go go be girly. The greatest thing about women is the girls. The women. It's, it's like hey, look at that. What, you think a guy wants to see another fucking guy? Oh, hi, Bill. Oh, hi, Mike. I don't want you putting on heels. Don't worry, I fucking won't. It's <laughs> you ain't no workup for it. Neither are you, shit, my face. <laughs> but yeah, you could, you could be a breath of fresh air. You could walk. It, oh, the guys. Now, don't slut it up. Don't dress like a slut. You got plenty of girls like that. I'm just a straight dress pretty. And wear a nice dress and some heels. And they'll be like, hey, you see. And you'll. You'll, you'll be the legend. They'll be like, you remember in 2015, August 12th, when she walked in? Oh, yeah, I remember. She had that nice uh, white number on or whatever it was. Oh, and the heel. Of course, you're probably going to tank their GPAs. But anyway, so be female. That's You don't have it. Anyway, I am so not worried about you. I think you got the right attitude. You're in it for STEM. You're in it for chemical engineering. You're in it for yourself. Um... You know, you're just going to be hanging out with a lot of older brothers, fight back at them, you know, rough around you know, with the guys a little bit, but you're not going to lose your sense of femininity because you actually care about it. So that, that'll that help. Anyway, hope that helped out a lot of the young ladies out there. Best of luck to all you girls, and God bless you for going into STEM and actually closing that wage gap. Good for you. Toodles.